My name is simple present. I'm a verb tense. I sleep every night. I talk to students every day. I sleep. I talk. So, that's me, the simple present. I let you talk about things we do every day. Now, how about this? I'm not sleeping right now. I'm talking to you. That's another present tense. The present progressive that you talk about right now. You'll meet him soon. I help you talk about things you do every day or usually. You eat. You sleep. You talk to other people. You go to class. You use a computer. But I also talk about things that are facts, things that are always true, true now, true in the past, true in the future. Always true. The world is round. Balls are round. The sun rises in the east. It sets in the west. Trees have leaves. Wood comes from trees. I'm the present progressive. The simple present cares about what you do every day. Not me. I only care about now, right now. So what's happening right now? Well, I'm speaking to you. You're listening to me. You're looking at a computer screen. I'm looking at you. I'm smiling. We say that these activities are in progress. That's where I get my last name, progressive. In progress. Get it? Cool. Here's what you need to know. The present progressive talks about what is happening right now. I'm talking to you. The simple present talks about daily habits or general statements of facts. I talk to lots of students. First, there's that troublesome final s. You know simple present, I'm the only verb tense that uses it, and it's a real nuisance for English learners. So be sure to notice that a simple present verb following he, she, or it ends in a final s. He walks to school. She takes the bus. It stops in front of her house. Now, the other thing to notice is that the simple present uses do and does to ask questions and make negatives. Do you walk to school? I don't go to school. The present progressive uses am, is, or, are plus the ing form of a verb. To make a question, just change the word order. You are listening to me. That is a statement. Are you listening to me? That is a question. To make a negative, just add not. I'm frequency adverb. What do I do? Well, let me show you by asking a personal question. How often do you sing in the shower? Always? Sometimes? Never? I myself seldom sing in the shower. The tricky thing about using frequency adverbs is word order in a sentence. Here's how it works. A frequency adverb comes before a simple present verb. Jack always comes on time. Except. It comes after am, is and are. Jack is never late. Oh, and the other thing to remember is that some frequency adverbs have negative meanings. Words like seldom, rarely, never. So don't put not with these words in the same sentence. This is wrong, I don't never tell a lie. This is right, I never tell a lie. Do you sometimes forget to add me to the end of a word? Well, you're not alone. Almost all English learners have trouble using me. Why? Well, look at this, final s makes a noun plural. You have two hands and final s makes a verb singular. For example, my father works in an office. It's easy to say I have two hands or my father work in an office. Yes, it's so easy to forget to use me. So watch out. I enjoy causing trouble, you know. Remember, you add s to almost all verbs. Looks, feels, hopes, learns, eats, leaves, and you add es when a verb ends in ch. Watches sh. Washes s. Passes also in the very few verbs that end in x or z. For example, fixes, buzzes, or you add n es when you change a y to n i.
fly becomes flies, try becomes tries, but don't forget. If there's a vowel in front of y, just add s. Buy becomes buys, pay becomes pays. Well, okay, I think that's all you need to know for now. Whoops, I forgot. I should mention that go becomes goes, do becomes does, and have becomes has. Time non action verb. When you use me, nothing is happening. There is no activity. I described something that simply is, which means it exists. For example, you know the English alphabet. I like chocolate. Now, compare that with action verbs. You're reading this sentence. I'm talking. You're listening to me. All of those activities are going on right now. But the fact that you know the English alphabet is not an activity. It simply is. No is a non-action verb. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that you don't use verbs like no. In the present progressive, you can't say, I am knowing the English alphabet. Do you see what I mean? Yes. No? Ah, hello. That's me. A yes or no question. Now I'm a question you can answer with yes or no. You already know how to ask yes or no questions in the present tenses. Now let's look at short answers. Are you ready? Good. Now in questions with do or does, a short answer will have a form of do or does. Is it raining right now? No, it's not. Are you a cartoon character? Yes, I am. You'll notice I said, yes, I am, not yes, I am. If you answer yes, you can't use a contraction with pronouns in a short answer.